Hi everyone, you're probably expecting the second part in my white balance tutorial, but there was a comment on the last video which I thought I would pick up on, and that's whether you can import your photos into Lightroom so that they all have the same starting white balance. So in the last video, I was suggesting that having this 5,500 Kelvin and then whatever the neutral tint of your camera is as a, as a default point to refer to could be really useful. And it may be that some of you want to just have that setting to every photo that you import. Uh, I mean, of course, you can just do that on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, but for those who do want to do that, there is actually a method for achieving that in Lightroom. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're in the Lightroom develop module now, and I've just picked a random raw photo from my autumn shoot in Scotland. And we're going to try to create an import preset for the white balance. So I'm just going to get us to 5500K using this, uh, this preset, and then I'm going to correct this tint to plus five. So remember to correct that for whatever camera you're using uh, if you want to have an accurate white balance sort of default to refer to. And then the other thing I'm going to check is this remove chromatic aberration box at the bottom because it, it's never an artifact that we're going to want in our images. Some people might choose to check this enable profile corrections, which will fix vignetting, uh, barrel distortion or pin cushion distortion. But you can see that it will also crop into the image a little bit. And I don't want to lose part of the image because that might slightly spoil my composition. So I'm personally going to leave that one unchecked. So now we have those two changes made and it doesn't really matter if we've changed anything else because those are the only two things that we're actually going to store to this preset. So on the left here, there's a, a drop down uh, that says presets. If you can't see this panel, then you, you just expand it out like that. Um, and then we're going to click the plus icon at the bottom here to add a new preset and select create preset. So we're going to call this import preset. Um, and you can probably see that I've already created uh, one, one here for my Canon R5, but we're going to create another. And uh, I've uh, just checked the chromatic aberration box and the white balance box. It might be that uh, when you open this dialog, everything is already checked. So you want to check none and then select the, the changes that you actually want to apply. So in this case, just the white balance and chromatic aberration. And then you can have it stored in whatever group you create, but I just leave it in the user presets because to be honest, I don't use presets. And unless you have a very, very strong stylized look, like you heavily grade your images, for example, you probably don't want to be using presets as a landscape photographer. Uh, and I certainly don't use them at all other than for this purpose. So we're now going to create this import preset and uh, you can see it's appeared there. So now if we select any other image and click on import preset then uh, it will make sure that remove chromatic aberration is checked and uh, the white balance is set correctly. So now we're going to make sure that this works on every photo that we import. So we're going to go to our import photos and video dialogue as you would normally when you import photos to Lightroom. And you can see I've just got a photo of my fruit bowl here because uh, I didn't have any photos on my, my memory cards to import afresh. So I just uh, took a quick snap. Uh, and then you've, you've got to organize it and so on as you normally would. I'm just putting it into a random folder here. But what we're really going to pay attention to is this apply during import drop down. And you can see there's a develop settings uh, section there. And we're going to select the user preset, the import preset that we just created. So this now won't change um, for any import that you do unless you manually change it. It will store this import preset. Um, and so we just click import. And there is our lovely fruit image. And uh, if we go to the develop module there, then you can see the white balance has been set to 5500. The tint is plus five and the remove chromatic aberration box is checked. So uh, it is a useful a little tip that because it'll just save you um, having to do that yourself. Whether you choose to do it with the white balance or not is up to you, but I would certainly recommend doing it for the chromatic aberration because like I said, you'll never want that there. And the number of images I, I see where people just have forgot to check that box, it, it happens all the time. So uh, a nice little tip there. 